and baby, they just not hitting for what they said they was gonna hit for. Bad time. It's bad time. Still with the girls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be somewhat of like a productive day in the life. I did want to wake up early today to try to get all of this done earlier. It is currently 3 09 in the afternoon. I did wake up at 9, I just didn't get up at 9. So, if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So, I'm gonna set y'all up right here. Um, I'm gonna read y'all my little to do list for today that I really wanted to do earlier, but it's okay. Um, where is it? Okay, so, where's my list? Okay, so I need to ship off some clip-ins. Disregard this, I had a pimple, so I got that little pimple patch thingy on. But yeah, and I need to comb out my curls. Anyways, these are some clip-ins that I did for review. I got a whole video of it right here. I really, really did like these clip-ins. They're like some really good clip-ins, um, especially to mimic um, 4C hair. So it's just, I think it's just like one big bundle, but I'm gonna go ahead and send these to her. Um, I need to, I'm about to print out the shipping label right now and the weight says eight ounces. So I need to go weigh my, weigh my stuff. If this is bigger than eight ounces, I'm just gonna have to put it into the little bag that they gave and ship it out like that. But anyways, got to ship that out, print off a shipping label. I wanted to go pick up my mail for my business. It's kind of not across town, but it's like 15 minutes across town. <laughs> So I may or may not be able to do that because I think they close at like five. I need to return these pajamas to Kohl's for Amazon. These are from Amazon, but I go to the Kohl's clothing store to return things. Those are the pajamas that I wore to that, um, my color party with my coworkers. Um, I wanted a smaller size, so I may just return and get a smaller size. If not, I'll probably just return and get something else on Amazon knowing me. The next thing is to take out all of my fall items. I wanted to do that before i left the house but since i am trying to hear up and go do stuff before it get dark prince just threw his toy at me <laughs> before it get dark i'll probably take that out after i get back um so yeah i think i kind of remember what i got but we'll see the next thing i wanted to do was go to bath and body works for some fall candles maybe like some fall room spray just to kind of get the fall vibes going again so i wanted to um I wanted to get, you know, just some fall stuff from Bath and Body Works. Um, I wanted to go to Home Goods. Home Goods really to just look around. I don't plan to buy anything from Home Goods, but do we ever really just plan on buying things? <laughs> Next, since I was gonna do this in the morning time, I put Tropical Smoothie on here. I was planning to be done by noon, so I was gonna, before I come back home, I was gonna go grab me a smoothie, a Tropical Smoothie. But I don't know. I think I may go ahead and do that before I do all of this because I don't really have time to just cook something at the house right now. And I am trying to just go get all of this stuff done. So I'll probably try to stop at Tropical Smoothie first. And then I wanted to edit at like one or two o'clock today, but obviously I'm getting a late start. So yeah, that's pretty much what I gotta do. I'm about to go ahead and print out this shipping label. It says eight ounces, so. How do I print? Print. I got this hooked up to my thermal printer. Um, we're gonna do four by, I think it's four by six. No, that's not it. What's the dimensions? How do I? Let me try to figure this out real quick. Do crop it the right way. I'm gonna print it out. Oh, it looks tiny. I hope this works. That got some marks in it. And yeah, I'm glad it still has my old address on here because I need to really change it when I get a PO box change it. But it got my old address on here. This is going to somebody in Florida. So that's cool. It says the weight is covered up to eight ounces. So I'm gonna put this hair in here and then I'm gonna see how many ounces this is. Cause the box I know is pretty heavy. So, and luckily I sell here and got a business for a living. So we're gonna go over here to my scale. That my iPad is on. I'm gonna turn it on. Then I'm going to 
going to click, it's already on ounces. It's already set to zero. Okay, yeah. So, this is 20.2 ounces. That's not gonna work, girl. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to take this out the box. I hope she can understand. But luckily they gave a little baggie. Prince is like right here <laughs> by the camera. <laughs> oh, Halir, Halir. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this out and put it in here. I found the brush and I didn't use this brush on my reel here, I don't believe. I think I just used it on the bundles, so. All right, pro tip, get all the air out as much as you can. Cause honey, they do charge for air. <laughs> then, I'm going to try to, when I get one side down, I squeeze it again, and then go like that. So let's see how much this weighs. Put that on. Oh, it's still too much. 13.8. Alright, so I am at the post office. I went and got me a smoothie from Tropical Smoothie. I'm also trying to record a TikTok today, so that's why I didn't record anything when I went and got the smoothie and stuff. But marking off on my list, I shipped off the clippings, printed out the shipping label. I went to Tropical Smoothie. I also had to go back home because I forgot my wallet at the house. Um, I guess I'm going to go take out no i'm gonna go return these pajamas to Kohl's, and then when i'm on that side of town i'm gonna go ahead and what am i gonna do go to bath and body works and home goods and then that'll be the bulk of my list right there it's basically what i wanted to do today and then get home and take out the rest of my fall items so i do need to meet my cousin to give her this hair um for her best friend she says she'll meet me about like 5.30, so it is, it's 4.27, so I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I, I don't even know how far she is away from me right now. Because home goods and stuff is further away. Let me try to search it. Okay, she's 14 minutes away from me right now, so I mean, I really could just go drop this off real quick since i'm already close by so i don't even have to worry about because like i don't like to be like on other people's time if that makes sense like <laughs> since i know that she's going to be like by my house at like 5 30 i don't want to have to i don't want to have to um like feel like i'm rushing myself to try to get back to so like be there for the hair so i think i'm just going to go ahead and drop this off it's 14 minutes away it's closer than what it was when I was on by my house. And then I'm just gonna go. They got Bath and Body Works in the mall at Park Plaza, but I don't like going to that one. <laughs> and plus I'm trying to go to Home Goods too. So that's why I'm just gonna I'm to let this lady get her car. This man, cause baby, I'm about to go. Come on, come on, come on. And it's like, don't nobody be at the post office until I get here like nobody like, come on now oh Jesus everybody want to come when I'm trying to bag out in my car if it does that noise it will not let me bag out and it's like I be wanting to turn that off but if I turn it off then like come on now Come on. If I turn that option off, then I really be needing that to like look out and see what's behind me. But I don't know. I don't know. It did that when I was at work. Like when I'm in a parking garage and I try to bag up, it will not let me bag up until the person or the car is gone. And it's really annoying sometimes. 
All right, 13 minutes away. I'm about to go ahead and go drop this hair off to her. I'm gonna text her and be like, I'm just gonna come drop it off because I'm about to be up on Chanel. And that's further away, so yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. me a charger i bought some pillows i didn't go in there for anything but when i saw them pillows i'm like you know what the pillows that i had got from walmart are not comfortable at all and i need some better sleep so i bought these pillows they feel really soft like hotel type vibes because the ones from walmart they supposed to have been them cooling sensation ones i can't feel the coolness and baby they just not hitting for what they said they was gonna hit for so i bought some more they feel soft i like those soft hotel pillows like don't get me wrong i kind of like a firm pillow too every once in a while but those hotel pillows like you begin the best sleep of your life so those are the vibes that i'm going for now and that pillow seems really soft like not extra extra soft but soft with just a tiny bit of um firmness but for the most part like extra soft like a pillow that like a um cloud so i got me another phone charger because girl Oh, I got one that you can, okay, I like that. A little thing right here to where you can roll it back up. So this is just four, um, four foot charger. I got black because yeah, my stuff is black and I am on 11%. So it is charging up for your girl. This one I'm gonna throw away. Hopefully this charger lasts longer than two months cause I got this charger in July and it stopped working in September. So yeah. So what you get for buying something from the hotel in Branson. All right, it's taking everything in me not to go to McDonald's right now because baby, I'm hungry, I ain't ate all day, I had a smoothie. But I'm like, if I'm gonna get a burger and fries, I can go home and cook me a burger and some potato wedges. So I'm trying to do better about that. The only other thing I got to do is go to the bank to take money out. Oh, so, yeah, and I really don't feel like getting out again. So I'll probably just cook me a homemade burger and some homemade like potato wedges and just call it a day. And then later on tonight, I'll probably just eat like a pizza or something as a snack. And I do have a phone mount. It just be taking a lot to unscrew this camera off this mount, put it on that one. So I may go ahead and do that though so I can steady talk to y'all. me some tacos let me just go ahead and put that on right now because i'm starving have not ate all day really should probably be eating something a little bit heavier than tacos but i guess i'll just eat like three <laughs> especially because i'm plain jane y'all know i don't like stuff so my tacos only consist of the taco meat some cheese and a sauce um either like mild sauce or i like steak sauce on mine like I don't eat lettuce, peppers, or anything like that. I was thinking of maybe putting some like sausage on it. I don't know if that'd be like doing too much, but I absolutely love like sausage and stuff. So we'll see. I got everything done that I wanted to get done today. Super, super duper excited about that. I hate the hamburger meat that come in these because I don't like to just throw the hamburger meat in here and then try to break it up with like a spatula or spoon or something. I like to already kind of break it down to make it a little bit easier. 
but the kind that's in the roll is cheaper than the kind that's already like shredded for you, I guess. All right, I'm gonna give you a little haul. As you can see already, I got these big pillows. Y'all know I went about pillows from Walmart, maybe like uh, two months ago or something by now. Um, they were supposed to be like the cooling sensation or whatever. They were cool. Well, they are cool, but I can't feel them through my pillowcase. And they're honestly not the com the most comfortable. Like they're kind of like a little bit too firm for me, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. They just, they just not what I thought they was gonna be. So I got these pillows from Home Goods, $29.99, regular $40, a two pack of King. This brand, the All Positions Plus, um, in store. It's a machine washable, that's lit. Okay, oops. So in the store, just filling them, they feel really soft. So hopefully these will be 10 times better than the ones I already have. I'm gonna switch these out like immediately. So got those. And the other thing that I got from Home Goods was a phone charger. I already showed y'all that in the car, as well as this. How cute was this for $9.99? It was made in India. They had a lot of stuff with this little handcrafted tag in there from India, like a bunch of different items. So I'm really liking this, but obviously y'all know this is like matching my aesthetics or whatever. So I bought this to, I think I wanna get a table to put right here, kind of like an entryway table. I found one on Wayfair that was like a really slim table, so it shouldn't take up too much. Some of y'all said to use my old computer desk as that, which I tried to do that, or to like keep it behind the um, couch. It's like one of those tables, whatever it's called, like a little table that you put behind the couch to put stuff on. Um, it just doesn't look right because that's not what it's intended to be like if i didn't have that little bitty cubby under there for like the mouse and stuff like that i feel like i could have maybe made it work but it is a like it is actual desk so i'm gonna buy an actual entryway table i'm gonna try to find one that's really really slim and i want to put this on there so i want to get some type of big art piece or something i don't really want to put a mirror right there because my bedroom is literally directly right here. So if I have my door open and I'm looking out into my living room and my kitchen, then I'm probably gonna see obviously my reflection and stuff like that and that may creep me the hell out. So I don't wanna put a mirror right here. <clears throat> I do have a clock on this opposite side that I could you know, probably put right here if need be, but I would like to find something right there. If not, then I'll probably move this clock that's right there over here. But um, yeah, that's my plan to get a little bitty entryway table and to have this on the table right here so i already have something for my keys but you know I, I can probably put something right here so i feel like if the table comes out to about the width of me i feel like that'll be okay and then just to have that right here so yeah that's why i got this the other thing i got is from kohl's i'll probably pop in a video of me trying these on um, when you go return stuff to Coles clothing store, they'll give you a 15% off coupon. And with that coupon, you can use it anywhere in store. Obviously, you can't use it for like Nike and Adidas and stuff because it's not like the Coles brand. But the Coles brand, the SO and stuff, even if it's marked down, you can still use it. So they had a lot of stuff on clearance, like 70% off. These were regular $44. They were $22 on clearance. So yeah, I got a size 3 high rise mom jeans and then it's like a 26 width so they like they look really wide <laughs> but yeah these are a little bit tight so i think i'm really like a size maybe four four or five i don't really know jean sizes like i said i've never looked at jean sizes over like the size one because i always used to be a size zero or a size one so with jean sizes it's really confusing to me because i mean you know I had to gain weight, so I'm in between sizes and stuff, and I never would have thought that I ever would have got past a size one in jeans. So anyways, I got these little mom jeans. Super cute, I like them. I wanna kinda get some more jeans, especially since it's about to be winter time. So I think I'm gonna go to, um, what is it? Not Aeropostale, girl. Um, 
Abercrombie, Abercrombie in, yeah, that place. Um, we used to have one here. I don't know if we still got one, but a lot of people rave about their jeans, so I'll probably try them. Or um, Levi's. Levi's, they actually sell it like, I think, hopefully they still sell them at like JCPenney's. They do sell them at Kohl's actually too, but I just wanted to use a little 15% off and get something, and that's what I got. And don't forget to scan y'all receipts. I, some of y'all, actually a lot of y'all actually signed up with my little referral code. So when y'all sign up, I get 100 points. I'm not sure if y'all get anything or not. Comment down below if you do. But yeah, I scan every receipt that I get. And like I said, I had cashed out for an Amazon gift card. So yeah, make sure y'all scan y'all receipts. My code will be down below as well um, to sign up with my referral link. And I think it gives us both points if I'm not mistaken but yeah I'm gonna scan my little receipt cook my tacos and I'm gonna clean up just a little bit my apartment isn't too bad because I've been cleaning kind of as I go I do have a lot of laundry to do so after I um get done cooking I'm gonna start putting up my fall items because that is what this video was um supposed to be as well so y'all saw me take that out of my patio I'm about to finish cooking I'm gonna eat and then put up my new stuff and do a little bit of laundry and get these fall items out. like either lotion sprays candles and the scents for like the lotions and I don't really use they spray no more but well I don't use they spray no more um but like for lotion I still like to use the lotion they didn't really have any good smelling like fall stuff so yeah today they had a um one wick candles on sale for five five what ninety five dollars and something like 5.95 they regular 17.95 insane so i went and got some candles for 5.95 not too bad especially for the single wick candles i feel like these candles should be six dollars anyway because yeah so i got two of the same scent in this one i got cinnamon spiced vanilla mm, smells so good girl i got two of those and then i got a pumpkin pecan waffles mm, that smell good too so i'm excited for those and then i got two room sprays the room sprays was buy two for um 17 dollars i believe two for 17 dollars so i got black cherry merlot not fall vibes but you can never go wrong with that and they didn't have any room sprays like that smell good for the fall so then the other one i got was lakeside mornings there was one that I was gonna get for fall, but I'm like, I feel like I'm just trying to force myself to buy something that's fall scent rather than just get something that smells, you know, really good that I like. So I decided just to get those two. And you can never go wrong with the lip gloss. This has been an oldie but a goodie since literally I was in high school. So like 2014, 2015 days. Yes, we used to always go get this lip gloss. Really middle school up into high school. So I like this one and the red one. They didn't have a red one, so I got this one. The peppermint one, I kind of like a little bit better anyway. So yeah, that's my little haul. I spent $46 at um, Bath and Body Works today. So not too bad. Look good haul. That's my food going off right now. I put these in the oven. I had them on top of the stove for a little bit and then I put them in the oven to really get in there and cook really well. So yeah, Ooh, this gonna be hot. All right, so mine, I like mine to be not burnt, but you know, with, with, with a little character on them, with a, with a little crisp on them. Kind of like when you grill some hot dogs, we don't want no hot dogs that ain't black, you know? So this is my first time ever putting these into my tacos, but I feel like it'll be good because I can literally eat these with anything. So I'm gonna add them into my tacos because why not? Especially since I don't really add any other toppings to my tacos like lettuce and 
sour cream, anything like that. I feel like this will kind of give me, this will make me a little bit, you know, make me full for a little bit longer, I guess. So we're gonna slap that in there, get all that seasoning and goodness on that. Oven is off, that's off. Only thing I do like to use, like I said, is my cheese. Taco shells, I like soft shells now. I used to only like hard shells, but I had tried a soft taco one time, well, for the first time at Taco Bell and been hooked ever since, like, since like last year. I like steak sauce, steak sauce on my tacos. Um, I like the thick and hearty kind for my steak. I do like A1 steak sauce, um, like the regular kind for tacos, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna add a little bit of this, you know. And I tried mouth sauce for the first time, either this year or like closer towards the end of last year, cause that was my first time actually having a taco from Taco Bell, which is a fun fact, I guess. <laughs> I always just make tacos at home because I really think it's point, well, I used to think it was pointless for me to get a taco from Taco Bell when I only eat meat and cheese on a taco, you know? So that's why I never actually got a taco from Taco Bell before. I always just, you know, make my own taco at home, but let me, I'm trying to stop using my paper towels and try to use my napkins for when I eat and only use paper towels for, you know, cleaning and cooking and stuff like that. So got me some napkins. Alexa, open Hulu on Roku. Ooh, I'm starving, have not ate all day, girl. Watch an episode of Master Chef while I eat. And then we're gonna put up my fall items. Alexa, open Hulu on Roku. The season that I'm watching a Master Chef, I already know who gonna win. I had looked up who this um I think her name is Dion, something like that. And I was like, I recognize her face. Like I watched her on some other cooking show before. They she was on um this like soul food cooking show that I had watched. That's where I know her from. And then she was like, I had won another cooking show, so I got confidence that I can win another one. That's where I know her from. She's on, I don't know if y'all watch Master Chef, but I'm about to say who won this season, season 10. So if you don't want to hear it, skip ahead. But she won season 10. And it had told me when I was looking up her name, I'm like, damn. But I don't know, I still want to watch it. Even though I know who gonna win, it's cool. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my tacos. I'm about to be quiet. I'm about to turn this light off. So probably won't be cute no more in here. <sighs> And I kind of eat my tacos like a burrito, like I fold it all the way up and then I eat like that. <laughs> Cause I got, I like to get like the mini taco shells. If I get the mini ones, I don't fold it. But if I get these big ones, I fold it kind of like a burrito. Before I start putting my um, fall stuff up and everything else I gotta do, I'm about to give Kurtz a quick bath real fast. So I just ran this little bath of water. And he is, where you go, little boy? <laughs> it's bath time. It's bath time. It's bath time. Get in the bath. <laughs> I said it's bath time, not play time. Come on. Insane. I like to use pet wipes to get the gunk out of his eyes. <laughs> now he walking around. Real bad, little boy. Honey, honey. Fix this. Okay. 
how did you get like this? When I picked him up from my parents last week, I forgot to get him a bath right after because they be taking him to the park. And this stuff is what was in his eyes. Like all of that, the little bitty dots and stuff, this is from what was in his eyes. And this is just dirt from him. So yeah, he definitely needed a bath real bad. So I'm about to clean his bathtub out real quick. These two bags is what I just showed y'all that I got out my storage. This is my fall items. I already took some stuff out. Okay. So this, excuse me. This is the brand of my table placemats. If y'all wanted this, I got this last year or earlier this year, I think last year actually. This is gray. I no longer have anything gray, so I might as well throw these out. So I'm not gonna use these again. These are the ones that I had on there at first. I'm gonna go ahead and find some for it. What is this? Okay, yeah. So I don't need anything else out of here besides this. This one is more so for like Halloween, not really like fall. Halloween, I have these two things. These are from, I wanna say maybe like Big Locks or something, but it's just like a really kind of like spooky type of tree branch. And then, should have two of those. Yeah, here's my other one. I kind of cracked this one last year, but we ain't gonna talk about it. It's kind of cracking a lot more, so I may try to tape this or something, but I just got two identical spooky tree branches. This is what I usually put on my railings. Um, I was on the first floor when I had first got this, so you could actually see it a lot better. Since I'm on the third floor, you may not really be able to tell, but I'm still going to put it up anyway. I was thinking about maybe kind of taping it to the perimeter of my door outside. I think that would be kind of cute. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. I may try to take this some kind of way outside. And then I have some lights. Um, I think these are only orange. I have some already out there on my um, patio right now. They're not... Oh, I got two of these. Okay. So, my other ones that's out there, I may go ahead and bring those in. So, I'm going to put these outside. And this is usually what I put outside on my door as like a reef i guess so i'm going to switch out my other one outside i have two pumpkins these are from dollar tree i normally put these outside as well and then these are my placemats i like to stick this outside like on the ceiling somewhere because this is from dollar tree this kind of just like flies around what do you want little boy And as well, I have oven mitts. These are towels that I put on my stove. They say pumpkin everything. And then I also have a apron for fall time. As well as this beware sign. It kind of got bent up. I'm probably going to put this outside on my patio. Some people got a cute little like pumpkin or something that says something about Halloween outside. So I'm going to put this outside. I need it to not be doing that so last few things that i have is these 
spooky bones that I got from Dollar Tree years back. This is some Dollar Tree. I usually put this on my um, door outside. I like hang it to kind of make it creepy. And then I have this fake spider. And I usually put this on my um, window with this fake spider web. Okay, so y'all know when I said I bought this for when I get me a little <coughs> entryway table, I may try to use this for in here because this, this vibe right here, I'm not feeling it. Like that don't, that's not giving. So I'm gonna try this one instead. What about that? Y'all remember I have this, I got this from the home store, like, I think I got this headed since 2020. So I'm just about to spray paint this black since I don't have literally anything pink in my apartment anymore. We're just gonna spray paint this black and I think it'll look better. Cause I like this little thing because you can put more stuff on here and kind of dress it up how you want. So since I'll be able to add more stuff on here, I'll be able to add these little things around all these pine cones and stuff. So I think that'll look better if this is black. I like to take tape and put it, fold it, and then put this on the bottom of the pumpkin. It's kind of why it's white. I put this right here. So I used to put these outside so when the wind would blow, it wouldn't blow. But since there is dogs and stuff that be coming by my door, just so they don't like try to pick it up or take it or something very easily, I'm gonna put a little tape at the bottom of this, just like that, and then stick it to the ground. So if you made it this far, um, comments the word fall. I want to see who's been watching all my long vlogs and who watches all the way to the end. So if you made it this far, comment fall. Right here I am just finishing up the vlog with putting on my new um, pillows on the bed. Like I said, these are from Home Goods, and girl, these pillows feel amazing. Like I've been sleeping on these for about, what, two weeks now? And yeah, top tier. Definitely giving me the hotel pillow vibes. Run to y'all local home goods and find this brand of pillows that I showed y'all because they are definitely top tier. 
but yeah i just wanted to say don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe we are still on the road to 30k we're about like 800 subscribers from 30k um i have been slacking on the consistency but you know what i'm back and i'm better i'm going to try to edit for like two days straight and like batch all of my content and kind of pre-schedule everything to make it a little bit easier for me but yeah as always don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe like i just said and it's my next video i will see you next then bye guys